you are a lover of goat cheese the way I am, you will adore this. So delicious. We're gonna do a spiced Nilla wafer crust for our goat cheese cheesecake. Take a couple of cups of Nilla wafers, I crunch them up in the food processor. So we just pulse these guys. Now let's get spicy. I toss in some ginger, some cinnamon, and some nutmeg. You know, like the warm spices. About a quarter of a cup of sugar. Six tablespoons of melted butter. And we mix all these things together. And so it just seems like very crumbly, wet crumbs. And you take a springform pan, you know, the kind that has the thing on the side that you can open and close. This is what we make a cheesecake in, so we can pop those sides off. You just kind of take the crumbs and squish it into the corners and put it up the side. This takes a little bit of patience. That looks like a spiced Nilla wafer crust to me. And then you whip together the filling. I've got the cheesy part. I like that dense kind of New York crumbly sort of cheesecake, and that's what I make here. Two eight ounce packages of cream cheese, a 12 ounce log of goat cheese, the star of our cheesecake. I'm just gonna soften up my goat cheese and cream cheese. Add about a cup and a half of sour cream. Add a cup and a half of sugar. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You whip that all together and then beat in four eggs, one at a time. Delicious. And then toss it into your prepared crust. Look at that, who knew making a cheesecake was so cinchy? You get it into your 350 degree preheated oven and bake it for about an hour. We check it about part way through, we turn it around. If we see color starting to happen on there, we tent it with aluminum foil so that will allow it to bake but not brown. We're gonna put you back in for about 20 minutes and you'll be perfect. So once your cheesecake is firm, even in the middle when you jiggle it, it's done. Cheesecake time, cheesecake time. You're beautiful. And then we refrigerate it so the texture gets really nice and firm. It's better to do a cheesecake the day before so that texture really sets. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna slice up beautifully. And I have my knife in hot water so I can cut perfect pieces of cheesecake. That is sexy. Just like any other cheesecake, you can put whatever you want on it. If you want to put a blueberry compote or some sort of sweet, fruity kind of thing. But that's not what we're talking about. It's not cheesy, is it? Look it, and that's all mine. I've got a big, huge fork for my big, fat slice of cheesecake. You eat it and you're like, mm. Because you get sweet at first, but not super sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you feel like the tang of the goat cheese, but it's a little sweet, but it's still goat cheese. Oh yeah, I rocked it out. I was very pleased when I first made it. And now after I've been making it for a while, I'm still very pleased. I'm going back for seconds. Yeah, another piece for me.